would have thought that uh, building a rocket plane involved organizing a fashion show. We've got aerial performances and a catwalk show, and we're doing an on-site fashion judging contest tonight for Yuri's Night 2008. It's part of our brand building that with Rocket Plane, you don't have to wear a pressure suit, you don't have to wear a helmet. The world is open for you to wear whatever you want as part of personalizing your own spaceflight experience. Oh, it's up to you to make your connection to the audience and sell yourself. So they have to make the audience love them. They, they have to present their personality to the audience because it's the audience that's going to be uh, voted by their, by their clapping. Okay, the first place winner is our bird lady. And you can see dressing up really pays. So next year, think about it a little more, and everybody dress your best. And so Yuri's Best 2009 will be another on-site contest. Plus, we'll be judging the winner of the national contest for the US Space Fashion Design Contest, where somebody gets ready to fly to space. Thank you very much. It's been great. So now, it's an age of space tourism. Um, the paying passengers would like to wear um, their favorite uh, things. It's a basic idea for fashion in space. Space tourism is already started since 2000, so 10 years from now. Um, by an uh, uh, American company. And seven people and eight times uh, went to the space tourism um, by a Russian Soyuz rocket on the board of International Space Station. Russian Soyuz is the only rocket for a human space flight so far, now. However, in the United States, several companies is now a development as space vehicle for next generation, such as capsule types and wing types and rocket and air launch type. And talking about the orbital destination, International Space Station is the only place. However, there are several space hotel projects in the United States, Europe, and Russia. American company is development to um, inflatable space hotel. The module is compared to the International Space Station. Commercial operation will be started within five years for not only space hotel, but also space factories and space laboratories. And the European company is development space resort hotel. We can have a luxury time here, there. And Russian commercial space station is more simple for a space laboratory. Talking about suborbital space tourism, uh, this is such a space roller coaster compared to orbital space tourism. And this suborbital space tourism is completely different market from orbital space tourism. And the cost of orbital Space tourism at more than $30 million. However, suborbital space tourism cost less $200,000. And there are several companies to develop the space vehicles and this kind of um, air launch type and horizontal takeoff and landing style and also vertical style and the European companies as well. And commercial space ports are also necessary for space tourism. There are eight licensed space, commercial space ports in the United States. And the rest of the countries, there are several 
and plans and concept, including Hokkaido in Japan. This is a spaceport America. This is a spaceport Sweden and the Caribbean spaceport. Now I move to fashion in space. Design of space suits has not so much changed in history of human space flight. And this is Nomex flight suits for training and pressured suits for orbital flights. And the orange pumpkin one in the United States and the white one in Russia. And the casual wear on the board of ISS. And space suits for EVA. However, in the government space activities, space is the last frontier for fashion. However, longer stays in space, now six months in, on the board of I International Space Station, plus space commercialization, including space, hotel, uh, space tourism. Function, comfort, favorite, and fashion essence are necessary for commercial space. And we performed space casual wear R&D and space tourism wear R&D, supported by JAXA. Um, the space casual wear that was worn by astronauts since 2008. This is such a functional thing. This is worn by astronauts, but more big marketing on terrestrial because of, especially in hot summer, and we are now limitation for electric power. Um, in the commercial, we can expect more fashion aspect and more so that more big market by synergy between space and fashion. In addition to that, safety and reliability in government space mission, new elements such as comfort, fun, and style for will be necessary for commercial space, and more elements for space tourism. We performed the world first space fashion show, and this is the final um, selection catwalk show at Tokyo University. And after that, we did several fashion events, a space fashion event like this, and Los Angeles, in Yokohama, um, San Jose, and also for a New York Fashion Week. This is the last picture. A gentleman is a center director of NASA Ames and wearing a Soviet uniform for a fashion event. Who could ever imagine this during in the Cold War? I believe fashion can encourage the space development, and space development encourages the fashion. Thank you very much for your attention. <laughs>